What's up guys, we're back with another epic old school opening. The giveaway for this video are these three Pharaonic Guardian Super Rares. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you're excited about from Ghosts from the Past, because we're going to be opening it up this weekend, hopefully a little bit before this weekend, a ton of it. So hopefully we'll get some Ghost Rares, let me know what you guys think about it. And also, um, here's the box we're opening tomorrow live. We're opening a Pharaonic Guardian First Edition, and I made a huge mistake. I thought this was a 24 pack. It just came in the mail today. It's a 36 pack box, so we've sold out of a 24 pack. I mean, you got this crazy this happening here, but we've sold out of a 24 pack. But there's 36 packs, so I checked and 12 of y'all have bought packs. So there's 12 packs left. So we're gonna figure out some way that you guys can have an opportunity to get like a cheap extra pack so we can sell out in time for the live. And you guys will have an opportunity, if you already bought a pack, to buy one at a much lower price. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. Sorry about that, guys. I thought it was a 24 for some reason. It's actually a 36. So let's uh, let's open that tomorrow. All right, and today's opening is something that looks kind of familiar. We have 24 Dark Crisis booster packs that were bought by Luis on the website. Luis got on the website. He purchased these to be opened, and we're opening them for him. So thank you for purchasing these packs, Luis. Let's hopefully get him something good. Last time we got two secret rares. Judgment of Anubis. So maybe we'll get the Exodian Necros for him. That'd be pretty awesome. If you guys want some packs like this, I have 48 more on my website if you're interested. I occasionally will put up other things like that. Or um, I've been selling a lot of packs to the members uh, for like live streams and just, just to ship to them and stuff like that. So if you're interested in anything like that, make sure you become a member by clicking the join button down below if you're on PC. Or if you're on your phone, go to the link below where it says become a member. All right, first Sakuratsu armor. We didn't pull one the entire time last time, so this is pretty nice. We finally got one. We got Rod of the Mind's Eye. Let's see if we can get that Necros. Blindly Loyal Goblin. Mustering of the Dark Scorpions. And Grand, not Great, not Grand, Great Maju Garzette. Yeah, there's a Grand, there's a Great. It's all kinds of different ones. Let's see what we can get next. Can we get him something good? Last time we got, I think, six foils. Was that right? Is that what we got? Out of 20 packs. So he has 24. Hopefully he'll at least get six. Let's see, um, we're having some issues with this pack not ripping very well. There we go. All right. We have a Keldo. Incandescent Ordeal. Another sack. We didn't get any last time. That I remember. We're out of the mind's eye. Uh, same pack twice? That's weird. Ultra for tribute. Okay, a little bit different. Had the same rear, had a sack. That was weird. That was really weird. Last time we started slow as well, so maybe we can uh, do the same. Start over two, but finish a little better. We have a non-spell casting area. We got the Ray of Hope. The Nintendogs. Oh, contract, contract with Exodia. Contract with the Abyss. They really want me to say contract. Really eternal rest. Rod of Silence, Chaist, and Little Wingard. All right, so far we are 0 for 3 for Luis. Let's change that now. Let's make this good. Let's make this epic. Another Nintendog. Let's get the Necros. Manet the Thorn. We got an Arsenal Robber. Gorg the Strong. And a Mirage Knight. There we go. We've got a super rare right off the bat. And yes, a lot of you guys mentioned... Oh, wow. This one is... Oh, wait. Is that a ding? Okay, maybe not. Yeah. This card looks like a very strong tin cannon. Yeah, you have to remember on these old cards and the unlimited stuff, in first edition, even first edition, uh, to actually like get money, a lot of money back, you have to grade them. So... This card is probably pretty cheap, and also I use Near Mint TCG player prices, so the Near Mint is going to be a little bit different than a Mint pack fresh pull. It's going to be a little bit lower. you probably get more for a Mint card. Also, if it's graded, we'll get a ton more than if you sell it raw, so you got to take factor that into account. When you have a low amount at the end, you know, you only make a few bucks back. If you grade them, you can get quite a bit more back, possibly all your money. Spell reproduction. We got a guy, guy, Gigo. Non-spell casting area. Ray of Hope. What is this? This is weird. This opening is weird. So far, we've done that twice, where we pulled the same thing two times in a row. And this one, okay, a little bit more scuffing on this one. Not as PSA 10 looking, but definitely a, still a very nice card and in pretty good condition. Double Mirage Knights. We've got double Sack and double um, uh, Great Maju, and then we got double Mirage Knight. So that's kind of weird, but that's double foil, so that's good. All right, we have an Agito. Let's get something big here. Kelbeck. Battle Scarn. Acrobat Monkey. And a Terror King Archfiend. That's three in a row. Three super rares in a row. That's really nice. Let's check the back. A little bit of scuffing, but it's really not too bad. 
I've seen a lot worse for sure. Three in a row. We got the Terror King Archfiend. Check him out. Yeah, I hope you guys like Dark Crisis because we've opened uh, quite a bit of it recently. And speaking of that, we got uh, we got the Front of Guardian tomorrow. 36 packs. That's going to be fun. First edition too, so that's that's always fun. Frozen Soul. Can we keep the Hollow Streak alive? Four in a row. Staunch Defender. Archfiend's Roar. Thousand Needles. Oh, an Exodian Necros! Yes, Luis is killing it right now. He got an Exodian Necros. The best card in the set, in my opinion. I'm, maybe like Vampire Lord could be argued, but these are probably retail packs, so you can't even get that. Check that card out. It looks pretty good. There wasn't too much scuffing on there. Centering is a little bit off, I think. Maybe. Maybe off? I got it. No, I mean, it's not that bad. Okay, that's a pretty good one. We got the card we want for Luis. So, he's doing okay. He's doing okay. He's probably pretty happy he got these now. Dark Crisis. Wow. Four hollows in a row. This is for five. Here we go. Five hollows in a row. Let's do this. Archfiend's Roar. Thousand Needles. Shadow Knight Archfiend. Keldo. Suki Yomi. Okay, that's like a $5 rare. We know, did we pull any of these last time? Maybe one. That's like a $5 rare. Next, we're going to pull uh, Skill Drain and Final Countdown. That, those are big, too. So if you hit specific cards, there is some decent value in the raw cards. Wow. He's doing amazing right now. We're not even halfway through. Thousand Needles. We've got a Shadow Knight Archfiend. He's already got four, four, wait, is it three or four? Four. And uh, Sock again. And a Guardian Trice. Four foils, and you should get like six to seven. So that's insane. Very good start. Exodian Necros, the best card in the set, probably. Incredible. Amazing. Didi Trainer. Agito. Kelbeck. Battle Scar. Sukiyomi again. Man, I will take that. Another $5 rare. Wow. The Value Town. It's much better than when, when I opened these. A lot better raw value so far. I wonder what Exodian Necros Near Mint Unlimited goes for. And this one is more like mint, so it would go for even more than that price. Just keep that in mind when you see the Near Mint price, because they don't do mint on TCG Player. They just do Near Mint. Battle Scar. We got the Despair from the Dark. Acrobat Monkey. Yeah, Tristan, by the way. Not Joey. I said that earlier. Or last time. Sacred Samurai. Fear from the Dark. I think it was... Um, I think it was... Oh, no. Why, why am I forgetting who, who told me that? Somebody somebody reminded me. It was um, Third Rate Collector, I think. Sukiyomi again a third time. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Three Sukiyomis. That's a play set. That's like 15 bucks right there. Very strong. Very strong rare. A skill drain would be better. That's the only thing better. And that's because that's literally a $10 rare, which is insane. Okay, we've got Nagito, Kelbeck, Battle Scarred, Acrobat Monkey, Different Dimension Gate. Okay, we are definitely slowing down on the hollows, but uh, it's still really, really good. And also, yeah, it's kind of loud. I know when, when you guys commented about setting the cards down, it's a little bit loud. Uh, it is right next to the mic. Literally, my mic is right next to these cards, so you can hear everything that I you know do with them. So we got Spell Reproduction. So I put them down um, safely, don't worry. Gaga Gigo, non-spell casting area. Ooh, Mephist the Eternal General. Infernal General, not Eternal. Infernal. He's not Eternal. He's Infernal. Wow. This is going really well. Come on, Luis. Let's get him a Skill Drain. Let's get him a Final Countdown. We haven't seen any of those yet. Archfiend's Roar. Thousand Needles. Shadow Knight Archfiend. Keldo. And an Archfiend Soldier. I always love this guy. 1900. Really strong. He's got a 1500 defense, too. He's not, he's not a weenie. Usually they're like zero. Zero defense. Zack again. Did we really not pull any last time? We pulled like six. <laughs> Rod of the Mind's Eye, Blindly Loyal Goblin, Mustering of the Dark Scorpions. Great Maju Garzette, a third time. There's a final countdown. That's a good one. Arsenal Summoner, the Battle Footballer, getting ready for football season. Oh, we're not even close to football season. <laughs> I guess we're kind of close to the uh, the NFL draft. Maybe that's what they're getting ready for with the Battle Footballer. <laughs> they're getting ready for the draft. All right, we got Nagito. Kelbeck. Battle scar. Oh, I skipped right to it. The Guardian Seal. Ultra rare. Another foil. Check that out. Really nice. Okay, it's a seal. This is what... Remember when we opened my uh, my box? We pulled a seal and an Exodia Necros. And we pulled another Ultra because it was a 36-pack. But that's weird. We got a checkmate. 
Final attack orders in Guardian Elma. Uh oh, low battery. Hopefully we don't lose it in the middle of the, the opening. We shouldn't. We have 20%. 20% will make it right. Right? If you, if you see this video, it made it. At least part of it. Battle scarred. We're pulling a lot of those. Don't look like they fade. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Spell banishing. I did it again. The Ruxin special, as uh, as Yugi Mo loves to bring up, that I always do this. <laughs> Yugi Mo, the goat. Check him out on YouTube. He's a legend. Falling down. We haven't pulled that in a while. Hey, have we pulled it at all? Dark crises. Okay, we only have five total foils now, so we do need one more to get on ratio. Another sack. An amazing. Rod of the Mind's Eye. Blind the Little Goblin. The Mustering of Dark Scorpions. And Mephis, the Infernal General. Yeah, I don't hold them very tight because I want the, you know, the cards have some room to breathe. You don't want to damage them or anything, you know? Not that you're going to damage them holding them tight, but I just feel like I like, you know, play it on the safe side. Okay. Sasuke Samurai number two. We got the seal. Frozen Soul. Staunch Defender. Dark Bisham Archfiend. Very cool card. The Archfiends just look really good. They look really good. All right. Four packs left. Four packs remaining. Here we go. We've got the Ninkin Dog. Contract with Exodia. Dark Scorpion Mene the Thorn. Arsenal Robber. Infernal Queen Archfiend. It almost rhymes. Infernal Queen Archfiend. It kind of does rhyme. Yeah, interesting. All right. <laughs> Three packs left. I'm being uh, fascinated by the uh, the rhyming. All right, we've got a Sakuretsu armor, the Rod of the Mind's Eye, Blindly Little Goblin, Mustering of Dark Scorpions, Guardian Trice, just a rare, and the Chaos. Okay, we have we definitely cooled down, but still overall it's been pretty pretty good. I mean, getting the neck cross, can't really complain about that. Whew. Here we go. Two packs left. We got the Spell Reproduction, the Gaga Gigo, non spell casting area. Ray of Hope. Guardian Bow. Man, that guy is a that guy's a monster. Okay, is like like a beast. Okay, final pack for Luis. Let's get him something good. Let's get him something epic. Oh, okay, well, this isn't going well. Maybe it's because there's another Necros, just like that one time when we did that. Here we go. Dugigigo. Non spill casting area. Ray of Hope. The Nintendo Dog, and oh, another one—a secret rare Judgment of Anubis, Judgment of the Lure. In the last pack, we pulled three secret rares out of what now? Forty-four packs. It just keeps popping up. The Judgment, the man himself, always gonna pull the Judgment. I somebody commented, they're like, I always see Judgment, never see Vampire Lord. Personally, never pulled a Vampire Lord. I pulled, I pulled seven Judgment of Anubis. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. All right, so for Luis, out of these 24 packs, we got only one final countdown. We got three Tsukiyomis. No skill drains this time, but we got three of the second best rare. We got one, two, three, four supers, two Mirage Knights. Then we got two Ultras, Guardian Seal, and Exodia Necros. I mean, that's just amazing. Such an awesome pull. And a secret rare. So it's basically a good box worth. We got two Ultras, a secret, and four supers. The seven foils you would want. Plus, not to mention the decent rare or the good rares and the good common. So really good box for Luis. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Also, if you want to get some of these Dark Crisis packs and have them open, check out the site, ruxin34.com. You guys can just type that in and it'll pop up and you can get some. And also, Pharaonic Guardian live stream tomorrow, first edition opening. See you guys there. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, BOOM!